Hi everyone and welcome back to Thermodynamics 2 tutorials with Maria. We're going to be solving an ideal gas mixture. So we have a storage tank at a temperature of 180 Kelvin and a pressure of 2 MPa that contain, contains a mixture of 2 kg that is composed of 50% of argon and 50% of nitrogen. We are asked to find the volume of the storage tank by first using the ideal gas equation and then the case rules. What we need to know is in a mixture is going to be equal to the sum of the moles of each compound. And if we divide this by the number of moles of the mixture, we're going to obtain 1 is going to be equal to the mole fraction, so y1 plus y2 plus go on. So the mole fraction, what it is, is just the amount of that compound over the total of the mixture. So it can be given in terms of pressure or volume, is going to be of the compound over the mixture and also in number of mole. Now we know that we're going to have in our problem argon and nitrogen and the molar mass of argon is going to be 39.94 and for nitrogen it's going to be 28. And the mole fraction is given in percentage, percentage in our case. And in, or in order to find the molar mass of the mixture, we have to do the sum of the mole fraction of each compound times its molar mass. So in this case, it will be 0 0.5 times 39.94, 0 0.5 times 28, and if we sum this one and this one, we're going to find it's going to be 33.97 kilogram per kilomole. And this is going to be the molar mass of our mixture. Now we can go to the gas equation. And we're not going to be PV m times the molar mass. R U T. So all the values are for the mixture and not for the compound. So if we want to find the volume, we're going to have the mass which, which are, is given is 2 kilogram times R, which is 8.314 kilopascal meters cube over kilomol Kelvin. The temperature is 180 Kelvin. The pressure is given as 2 megapascal, but we need to put in kilopascal, so it's going to be 2,000 kilopascal times the molar mass of the mixture, which we just find, which is 33.97 kilogram per kilomole. So we see our Kelvin here are going to cancel out. Or kilomole is a division over a division, so this one will cancel, cancel out. And then our kilograms cancel out, kilopascal, so that's good, that's a good way to check it out. And then we're gonna find the volume of 0 0.044 meters cube. So this is gonna be the volume idea. In order to use the K rules, we need to find the zero critical temperature and the zero critical pressure of the mixture by finding the critical point properties of nitrogen and argon. So we can write this as the, the zero critical temperature of the mixture is going to be equal to the sum of the molar mass times the critical temperature of the component. And this can, it's equal to 0 0.5 times the critical point temperature for nitrogen is 126.5 K. This value they just find in the tables, plus 0 0.50, and the critical temperature of argon is 151 Kelvin. I'm going to find it's going to be equal to 138.6 Kelvin. Now we do the same for the zero critical of the mixture. It's going to be the sum of the normal mass of the component times the critical pressure of each component. Again, we just find all the values in the tables. The pressure for nitrogen is going to be 139 gigapascal 
plus 0 0.50 and nitrogen, the critical pressure for nitrogen is 4.86 megapascal and then we're going to find a zero critical pressure of 4.125 megapascal. Now we can find the re reduced temperature and the reduced pressure which is just the temperature of the mixture over the zero critical temperature of the mixture. So the temperature of the mixture, 180, means over 138.6 Kelvin. The pressure of the mixture is 2 megapascal over 4.125 megapascal. I'm going to find this is going to be equal to 1.30 and the reduced pressure is going to be 0 0.4. 48. And with these two numbers, with these two values, we go to the, um, it's, it's a figure A15, and when we have a reduced pressure lower than one, we use the first figure, otherwise we use the second one. So we're going to find a value of Z of 0 0.925. So the K rules is very similar to the ideal ones. So it's going to be pressure, volume, times Z, and R. So this is going to be equal to m over the molar mass, and these are all values for the mixture. So we can find that the volume with k rules is going to be equal to the set we just found times 2 kilogram times r, which is a 8.314 kilopascal meter cube kilomole k. The temperature is going to be 180 kelvins times the molar mass, which was 33.97 kilogram kilomole, and the pressure, 2,000 kilopascal. And if you did notice, this is very similar to what we did before. So the K rule, the volume of K rule, is equal to the Z times the volume ideal, equals to 0 0.0407 meters cubed.